Okay, now we see the hybridization in ethyne that can be also known as acetylene. Okay, now we see the hybridization of the carbon atoms in each by each carbon. So we have the carbon electronic configuration. So here carbon valency P to S2, Px1, Py1. There is a lone pair of electron, two unpaired, ele two unpaired electrons. So carbon must possess four bonds. To get four bonds, there must be four unpaired electrons. So that's why carbon always undergoes excited state. In excited state, the carbon, the electron shifted to here. Now its configuration become 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2p11, 2pz1. Now in this excited state condition, 1s orbital, 1p orbital undergoes nothing but involved in the sp hybridization forming 2sp hybrid orbitals. Means the involvement of 1s, 1p, so they named as sp hybrid orbitals. The participation of a 1 and 2 orbitals, there is a formation of 2 orbitals, 2 hybrid orbitals and the form of these 2 sp hybrid orbitals are having unpaired electrons because before the hybridization they are having unpaired electrons. So there is no change in the electron format before hybridization and after hybridization. So these 2 sp hybrid orbitals possess unpaired electrons. So these two are treated as unhybridized orbitals. Now we see about these hybrid orbitals. The position of two carbon atoms, the position of uh, two carbon atoms is like this. Uh, see the first carbon. So these are two sp hybrid orbitals of first carbon which are having unpaired electrons and these are the two sp hybrid orbitals two sp hybrid orbitals of second carbon which are also having unpaired electrons now there is a formation of an overlapping between the sp hybrid orbitals of two carbons and there is a formation of a sigma bond between two carbon atoms. The sigma bond is formed due to the overlapping of sp and sp. So we can write there is a formation of one sigma sp sp bond which is formed between carbon atoms. Now what about this uh, hybrid orbital, hybrid sp orbitals having unpaired electrons that if a bond formation there is a formation, there is a presence of two hydrogens having 1s1 they overlap with uh, this sp3 hybrid orbitals now there is a formation of a two sigma sp s bonds and there is a overlapping of sp and s sp of carbon and s of a hydrogen as nature is called sigma sp s bonds they form between carbon and hydrogen atoms so for this we can write like this but we know that carbon must possess uh, four bonds. Here each carbon is having only two carbon atoms. So there must be two other bonds for the two carbons. And here there is a uh, two unpaired, sorry. Here there is two unhybridized orbitals present in each carbon. So this is a uh, this we are taking this is the p by of uh, first one and second one 
and goes sideways overlapping in there is a so after the formation of one straight overlapping there is no possibility of the straight overlapping there is a possibility of a sideways overlapping which forms a pi bond may not there is a formation of one pi bond between the two carbon atoms so now also the carbon are having three bonds this carbon also having three bonds and there is a one more an anhydride orbital is there so it has pz pz and they are also having unpaired electrons their sideways overlapping is also forms another pi bond mean that now there is a formation of a 2 pi pp bonds pp involves a the overlapping of p orbitals two pi pp bonds between carbon atoms means there is a totally there is a how many sigma bonds are present the total sigma bonds are 1 2 3 only three sigma bonds one is uh, sp sp remaining two or sps sps how many pi bonds are there the pi bonds are two pi bonds the two pi bonds are exactly present between the two carbon atoms the pi bonds are two okay so if you see the structure it is uh, the shape uh, is is a linear shape with bond angle 180 degrees Okay, this is about the hybridization of uh, carbon atoms in a uh, acetylene molecule. Okay, so normal this is total explanation of uh, the carbon atoms hybridization, and uh, so by knowing the normal method, we are able to get the hybridization in the carbon compounds. So, like uh, by calculating the number of sigma bonds. by calculating the number of sigma bonds in carbon if it is equal to 2 that is sp if it is equal to 3 that is sp2 if the number of sigma bonds in the carbon is 4 that is sp3 so the carbon can form only sp3 hybridization the remaining hybridization cannot be exhibited by the carbon here see the each carbon is having how many sigma bonds this is 1 2 2 sigma bonds so this is sp This carbon is also having one, two, two sigma bonds, so it is sp. So this is total another method to calculate the hybridization. Okay.